going to be making a fun rain soap today. I'm going to be using my column molds and I have these embeds that I made. These are cloud ones. I'd originally planned to do these in a loaf mold. That's why they're so much shorter. And then I just said, you know what, I'm gonna do the column molds with this instead. And I have some soap dough that I made raindrops. So the short ones, these right here, I'm gonna put in my short column mold and then the long ones I'm going to put in the tall ones. So the clouds will only go up to, you know, three fourths of the way up the tall ones. So not all of them will have clouds and not all of them will have the big fat raindrops and not all of them have the skinny ones. So they're all, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be a good mix of, of different ones. I'm going to be using the Coastal Rain Fragrance Oil from Bramble, Brambleberry and that one is supposed to behave well. However, it's supposed to also discolor to yellow. I'm going to divide the batch up. I'm going to put in some uh, Orchid Mica, some Vintage Gray, both those Brambleberry, and some Island Sunset Mica from Nurture Soap Supply, and do some in the pot swirls. Then I will probably do this one first, pour it in there most of the way up, and then put the embeds in, see how well they go down. Because these little skinny ones, I don't know how well they'll go down in there because I don't want to put them in there and then just dump it because it'd be nice to kind of have some type of direction. But you know, sometimes things don't go as we planned. So let's go ahead and get started. I have these um, set up to divide the batter out later and I think I got everything ready to go. Let's get going.
the freezer for most of the morning so I could get that plastic off for the column molds because they're a booger to, to get off. So the best tip is put those in the freezer and then that plastic pops off. So when I took them out, I was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of nervous about the coloring because I couldn't really tell a difference between the different colors that I use. But here you can see that there is some variation now in the loaf of the soap. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that everything is where it needs to be. Now, one thing I was kind of concerned about after the fact is this one was that short one where I had the, the fatter raindrops. And I looked at this and I'm like, it looks like a weird blue orange, but they moved on the other side. So these will all be in, in different places. So it'll be, you know, it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Um, and then same, same with these. I've got the cloud in the middle of the bitter portion of these. So about three fourths of the way up. So let's go ahead and cut them open.